a business owner faces his fears. Mr. Moorhead, you look scared to death. Uh, I've watched you for a long time. You're, you're scary, Your Honor. Yeah. Good. Starting out with the right attitude. I like it. Will he be brave enough to make his case? I was going to walk away from the deal. If you were not interested in it, then you wouldn't have purchased it. Honestly, I was kind of tricked by the ad. Don't you feel stupid? No, not at all. But you should feel stupid. Judge Judy. Mr. Moorhead, you look scared to death. Uh, I've watched you for a long time. You're, you're scary, Your Honor. So I'm scary? Sometimes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Starting out with the right attitude. I like it. <laughs> Ms. Muller, it is your claim that the defendant owes you the balance due on some printing equipment that he purchased from you. Yes. Mr. Moorhead says that he bought the equipment, he paid the price that you negotiated with him, and he owes you nothing. That's your defense. Can I see the ad that you originally posted? You posted it on the internet? Yeah. May I see it, please? What kind of equipment was this, Ms. Muller? This was an entire shop of screen printing equipment. Whose was it? It was mine. Had you used it? Yes. For how long? Well, I had it in storage, but I used it probably for about five years. You used it for five years. What five years? 2010 up until 2000. 15. I don't know. I wasn't there. Well, I, it went through a lot of moves, you know, or a couple of moves, so I was using it in my house, and then it went into storage. When did it go into storage? 2016. And were you selling it out of the storage unit? No. Where had you put it for sale? In my shed and at my home. So after you had it in storage where you paid for it, you moved it to your house and you kept it in a shed at your house? Yes. It was all in working order. Do you have photographs of it? I believe it's on the ad there. Okay, great. Let me take a look. Okay, so you started selling it for $5,500. I actually started selling it for about $7,500. Okay, then and had... it didn't sell? No. And then you lowered the price to $4,700? Yes. And then you lowered the price again to $4,200? Yes. Is this a photograph of the equipment or of a piece of equipment like it? Like it. So it's not a photograph of the equipment? Right. Okay, do you have a photograph of the equipment? This is a blurry copy of what you kind of have on the ad, but this is the press all set up in my shop. So it's the same model. Okay. Yeah. Now, Mr. Moorhead, when you contacted her, she was selling the equipment for $4,200. That's yeah. the ad that you responded to. That's correct. Okay. And had you seen any of the prior ads for more money? Nope. So that was the one that you responded to? Yep. On what date did you respond to that? Uh, July 28th or 29th. I believe it was the 28th. And did you go to Miss Muller's house? No, I did not. Where did you go? Uh, I called her on the cell phone, on my cell phone. But you had to look at this equipment, I assume. Honestly, I was kind of tricked by the ad. Um, the screen printing press itself, if it was in new, brand new condition, could easily have been worth that much. So I was trying to jump on the sale, and I had Just called to her. Say, don't, don't. Sorry. Chat it to me. Yeah. Whether you spent $1,000 or $3,000 or $4,000, at some point, you'd want to look at it. Yeah, absolutely. You contacted her on July 28th. On what date did you see the equipment? Uh, not until August 3rd. You went to her house? Yeah. And when you saw it, I must assume you were interested in it. Way less at that point. Well, if you say way less, if you were not interested in it, then you wouldn't have purchased it. Uh, so try not to think of where I'm absolutely. going, Mr. Moorhead. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Now, at the time, her ad was for $4,200. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to tell me what the conversation was that you had with her on August 3rd. I had met her at her house with uh, somebody that was going to help me move it, and she had let me know that it was disassembled and stored away. It was more like disassembled and scattered. So me and my dad went to the house, and we had to go through the house and kind of pick up pieces as we went. Underneath the back awning of one of their sheds that they had there was washout tank disassembled and the... Listen to me carefully. Yeah. You either say goodbye, mm -hmm. it's not what I want, or you say I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Nobody's forcing you. Yeah, absolutely. understand? Yep. Oh, all right.